This is the best game you have ever played. <laughs> Operate now, stomach surgery. So I've already played this game twice in a row now, so I have just completely memorized everything. Don't try this at home. And then he says, "Hi, Doc. Your patient today is Kevin. <laughs> his curios, his curiosity has gotten him into some trouble. He seems to have swallowed something dangerous." to his health, and it's up to us to get it out of his stomach. So, I am a trained professional, no need to worry, we have got this. Now, we need to move this over here, over to this X, X marks the spot, as you all know. Here we go, take an x-ray, and what do we got? Continue, good, good work, okay. Alright, so now we need to go into this room, I memorized that. To ensure proper breathing during the operation, we should first intubate the patient. So basically what that means is shove stuff down his throat. <laughs> so, uh, pick up the throat opener, throat opener. This thing looks completely dangerous, like it just looks so badass. Like, chop, 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 chop to the face. It doesn't look something that's gonna help you breathe or open your throat. Uh, Alright, now we need to grab the incision tube from the table. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. I'm a speed doctor. I got this. I'm gonna make the. I'm gonna make the fastest surgery you have ever seen or heard of to mankind. Because guess what? This thing is gonna be fast. We're gonna be lightning fast surgery. So great. We will now connect the intubation tube to the lung pump. First, pick up the air tube attached to the lung pump. Okay, the air tube. There we go. I'm gonna stick that right in there, deep throat it, and we're gonna turn that on. Well done. Um, before we start the operation, we need to stabilize the patient's belly. So we need to use tongs to mark the spot. There we go, tongs. Okay, pick up the tongs. There's the tongs. And now we need this. Oh, sorry, that wasn't. We don't. We need the cotton ball. And then we need to dip this stuff right in here. And we're good. Yeah, we need to make his belly all brown. Make his belly all brown! Woo! Alright, great work. Now we need to start the operation. Woo! Alright, let's start the, uh, by making an incision in the patient's belly. First, pick up the marker from the table. Alright, we need the marker. There's the marker. There we go. Nothing much. And we're gonna drag that baby right across his stomach. Drag it right across. And next, pick up the scalpel so we can make the first incision. So the scalpel is right here. Man, I am just so lightning fast. I mean, what can I say? And we're just gonna drag that. Ooh, yeah! Cut him, cut him, cut him. <laughs> cut him open, I feel it! Woo! Alright, nice. Cut, doctor. Nice, nice, nice cut, doctor. Continue. Oh no, it looks like he's bleeding. A few veins have started to bleed, but it's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about at all. He's just gonna bleed out, and we don't even care. So now we need to pick up the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I feel it! I know what I'm doing! I know what I am doing! We need to burn these veins. That's what we, that's what we need to do. We need to burn before, the, uh, before we continue, we need to move the skin and... Okay, so we need the clamps. Yeah, I memorized it! Woo! I'm so good! I'm just so good at games. I'm the best 2016. You know? Right, good work. Now we need another set of clamps to move the liver out of the way. Pick up the clamps from the table. Pick up the clamps from the table. Pick up the clamps from the table. There we go. And now I need to move this out of the way. Just nothing much, nothing much. Just cram that off to the side. We'll now need to make an incision in the patient's stomach to make the object so you move. Please get the scale pail once again. Here we go. Scale pail. Cut you open. Cut you open. Cut you open. I am sorry, buddy, but you should not have swallowed whatever it is that you swallowed. Sometimes it's a button, sometimes it's a battery. Whatever it might be. Either way, we're running out of time. So, that's a very clean cut. Good work. Alright, looks like his life is on the line here. We'll start a camera to see what's happening. And there's the camera. We're gonna insert that camera right in there. Being a YouTuber, I have learned to just love cameras, and when I have a surgery, I will just... I, I want a camera, you know? It sounds great. Excellent. Now we can see what's going on inside. So yeah, that'd be a great YouTube video. So, oh, there it is. There's the battery. Oh, man. Pick up the tongs from the table. And uh, there they are. Pick up those tongs. Pick up the tongs. Oh, good. There we go. Just remove that battery right out of him. And we will now remove all... 
okay, there is, we're gonna remove all this stuff. And grab the needle from the table, grab the needle from the table. Okay, there's the needle, and we're going to... Oh, we also need the thread. There we go. And now we're just going to uh, stitch him all up, because we, we, made, we made all these clean, fresh cuts in his body, in his insides. And now we just need to close it all up. There we go. There we go. So I'm acting like I don't really care, but like this stuff, even though it's still game, I hate looking at it because like I've never had surgery before. I'm terrified of it. Um, hopefully I never have to have one, but I probably will eventually. So we are almost done. Just a few more steps. Pick up the needle from the table. Pick up the needle from the table. Pick up the needle from the table. Pick up the, the needle. Ugh, yeah. Best doctor ever. Thread. And we're going to, we're going to just clean him. We're going to. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're done here. <laughs> Almost done. All right, so now we're not quite done yet. We need to turn this thing off or else his lungs will just, you know, they'll over pump and he'll become too excited and as a matter of fact, he'll probably die. <laughs> and then we need to remove this thing to help him breathe and we're done. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this game and uh, I'm just such a good doctor like this. If you think I'm a good doctor, subscribe. If you think I'm a good doctor, favorite, share, do all that good stuff. And um, yeah, that's it. See you guys in the next video. Haters want a little bit of everything They wanna see a prank and then I do it Then they hate it, begging me to leave Get your head together, what's it gonna be? Scare the dude to death or stay at home a little Let him break his shit in peace A few veins have started to bleed But it's nothing to worry about Nothing to worry about at all He's just gonna bleed out and we don't even care